Hi there friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today I am sharing with you a Christmas countdown gnome. I made this last year so you'll see some little extras in there, but if you'd like to make him just boop, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. And speaking of crafting, we're gonna start by cutting out the pattern pieces. You can find that pattern down below and you can cut them out with your Cricut Silhouette or with some scissors, we have both for you. All right, so in order to build this gnome, we're going, I'm using a pink crushed velvet and it is just, I honestly think that this is one of the most beautiful fabrics I've ever worked with. It's kind of like velvet and then it's a little floppy and whatnot, but it's just so pretty. It captures the light. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put the right sides together and we're going to attach our hat pieces along the two long edges. Let that sit aside. And now this is the um, tucked pattern other piece that goes with the hat. This is the body. And what we're gonna do is assemble per the pattern instructions. So you're lining up the body piece and then you're doing that special little tuck with the bottom. We're going to set that aside. And I do get asked a lot if I use a fabric hot glue. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I just get them both on Amazon. Um, so it's not much, you know, there's no trick to it. But I do say, let them sit. Uh, I have the magic of video to power through that, uh, but you do need to let them sit. And then we're going to flip the hat out and turn it inside out, poke that tip out. I did use the pokey end of a pencil. Uh, and then we're going to do the body as well. So run your fingers along every seam to make sure that there's no holes or gaps because now we're going to fill it. And you can tell I did this 18 months ago because I used rice. I no longer use food products in my tutorials uh, just because I don't think it keeps. Okay, so we're going to put about a half a cup of weight, whatever your weight is, and then we're going to fill the body up until almost about a half inch from the top with polyfill. If you would like a floppy hat, do not fill your hat with polyfill. Otherwise, go ahead and shove some polyfill up there too. But we're not ready to attach that yet. I'm using a, I mean, Another kind of real good find is this pink fur. Um, you can see you got to position the body correctly and then measure out how wide you want your beard or braids. You know, we're an equal opportunity gnome maker around here. Uh, I'm just here. I'm showing you, please don't use that selvage edge. It's all gunky and nasty. So go ahead and cut that off. And then once you have your beard size, you're going to go ahead and cut a mustache if you like that look. And we're just going to split it in the middle and attach that to our beard in just a second. So here's a tip on beard assembly. Just use one strip of hot glue. Make sure you like where you uh, place it, move it quickly, and then glue the rest of it down. On the mustache, glue it just about an eighth to a quarter inch below the top of the beard, and then split the fur and add your gnome nose. I'm using a one inch clay bead here, but you can use anything. We're gonna tuck on that hat and just in a couple of places, attach it, okay? So I'm gonna add a trim with some fleece or you can use chenille yarn, whatever you want. But I just want you to know, don't put the hat all the way down because we're going to be making uh, arms to put those under as well. Okay, so here is our trim. We're just cutting about an inch and a half of that trim. So it's just Sherpa wool fleece or Sherpa fleece or lamb's wool fleece. I'll get the name right but it's a Joann's. So we're just gonna attach that all the way around the hat, making sure our squished nose is on and then cutting off any excess all the way around. There you go. Oh, hello. And then, you know, fix his beard cause it got all messed up. Now for arms, we're just gonna make the quickest arms. I do have arms in the pattern for you, but I didn't use them here. I needed a little bit longer of an arm in order to hold this big thing. So all I'm doing is rolling two rectangles in on itself cutting off any excess on the edges and then tucking them up with hot glue underneath the hat. And now at this point you can tuck or uh, tack that hat down all the way around. I'm using about three quarter inch beads for the hands because I want them noticeable and I'm putting them just to the inside of the arms. Now I made my own countdown blocks. You don't have to. If you don't have a Cricut, you can order them on Amazon. Okay, so, or I'm sure you can do factory direct craft or other places, but what I'm doing is I cut it out with my Cricut, all the numbers and sentiments, and then I just attach them with heat 
transfer vinyl and my mini press. Once that was done, I attached my little shelf to the inside of his hands and then I'll attach the other side so you can see it makes a little shelf for my blocks. And then I put him on the pedestal specifically for this guy so I didn't make legs for him. And then I put my blocks on and guess what? You're all done. <laughs> Isn't he sweet? Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, hey, thank you so much for being here. Please like and subscribe to Ruffles and Rainbows.